What could that shot do to a person? That'll either go straight through you or it'll bounce around on the inside of you. Wow. It could go through someone and through someone else. Right. <sighs> wow. Okay. The massacre at Orlando's Pulse nightclub is the third mass shooting in six months and the deadliest in recent U.S. history. And like most other mass shootings since 2009, the shooter bought his guns legally. Do we need assault weapons? Absolutely not. They're only used to kill in mass quantities. That's the only purpose. It's still legal for people on the terror watch list to buy guns. Last year, 54 senators who received funding from the NRA blocked an effort to change that. Orlando's tragedy has reignited the fight for gun law reform in Congress. Enough, enough, enough. Of the 25 mass shootings since 2009, we know that 10 of the gunmen bought their firearms legally, some despite having mental health issues. We located 10 shops that sell guns within a 12-mile radius of the Pulse nightclub. We were turned away from five shops and asked to leave two parking lots. Can you go okay, to a well, different parking lot and do this? Frank Casanova was one of the few gun owners who'd talk. He's a veteran who served in Desert Storm. He has six guns and two kids, and he's always packing heat. It's up to me to protect myself and my family. It's nobody else's really. If more people in Pulse nightclub were armed, what do you think would have happened? I think instead of 50, he could, he could have got three or five or 10, but I don't think he would have got 50. I think they would have, they would have been able to protect themselves a little bit, you know? It, it wouldn't have been a huge bloodbath with more casualties? No, no. We found a shooting range that led us inside, but asked to not be identified. I wanted to try to understand why people love guns, even after the horror that just occurred miles away. Select your fire. Select fire, flip that safety switch down one. I did that? Okay. Got I kicked. feel like I have a lot of power in my hands right now that I don't want. <laughs> the rifle used by the shooter in Orlando was a Sig Sauer MCX, which is similar to the AR-15 I was shooting in that it's portable, customizable, and accurate. In other words, the AR-15 is the weapon of choice for massacre. It's been used in at least three recent mass shootings. People like it because the Army, American Army, uses it. Sales of the AR-15 spiked after the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting in 2012 because people feared there might be new restrictions on it. But nothing changed, even though a majority of Americans are in support of stricter gun laws. You ready? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay. And that means these weapons, many of which were originally intended for the battlefield, remain pretty easy to get. That's something I couldn't get out of my head. So long as the status quo remains, we're only going to see more tragedies. That was a lot more loud and forceful than I expected. And I don't know if you can see, I'm kind of shaky right now. So uh, it's personally not for me, I can say, having done this for the first time. And I think I'm also seeing it through the lens of what just happened. And for that reason, I want nothing to do with rifles or any sort of firearm.